So it's that time of year when we reflect back on our relationship and dating experiences. Maybe some of them have been good, maybe some of them not so good. And what I wanna do in this video is give you seven dating New Year's resolutions to help make sure you're getting the best out of your dating experiences in the year to come. Dating resolution number one. We're gonna be dating one person at a time this year. Now I know some people are like, holy crap, I'm not gonna be doing that. You know, I gotta get as many opportunities as possible if I'm gonna find that Mr. Right or Mrs. Right. And you know, I understand where you're coming from, but studies actually show that you can actually qualify and disqualify people much faster if you date one person at a time. In other words, by dating two, three, four, or entertaining this many people at a time, you let them stay in your life and it slows your progress down so much because you don't have the opportunity to focus on the red flags and the things that you know should be disqualifying these people from your life. So we're gonna be dating one person at a time this year. Number two is piggybacking off of number one. We're actually gonna listen to our instincts and intuitions about those red flags. We're gonna stop ignoring those when we see them. I know, you know, what we do is we see those and we're like, well, maybe that was just a one-off bad behavior. Maybe that was just, you know, something I'm being a little bit too dramatic about. Maybe it's not that big of a deal. No, we're not gonna do that this year. We're actually gonna pay attention to those. We're gonna call it for what it is and we're gonna make sure that we are qualifying and disqualifying people quickly so that we can bring high value, high quality experiences into our dating life this year. Number three, we're gonna stop chasing so hard. Now, I don't mean we're not gonna be you know, investing and we're not gonna be trying. What I mean is we're not gonna be over investing. We're not gonna be making up that difference in, in investment and energy. Whatever we invest, we're gonna require them to invest equally. I know that in the past, when somebody uh, you know, doesn't show us the exact level of interest that we show them, we really get into this, well, let me prove to them that I'm worthy of their attention and their investment. We're not gonna do that. We're gonna keep our dignity intact. We're gonna respect ourselves. We're going to go the distance that maintains those, those boundaries and frames in our life. We're gonna make sure that those people that we want to have in us, in, in our lives, we're gonna make sure that they are investing in its mutual reciprocation from day one. Resolution number four, we're not gonna be contributing to the statistic of ghosting and zombieing. And we can always talk about, you know, this person ghosted us, this person, you know, they, they ghosted me and now they're coming back, but have we actually been guilty of this? I'm sure, you know, some of us have. There's a growing statistic showing that we're doing this. So we're gonna make a promise to ourselves we are not gonna be a contributing factor to the ghosting epidemic going on. We are going to instead, when we're not feeling the vibe, when we're not feeling that connection, we're going to behave as adults. We're gonna show respect to that person and we're gonna be sending messages or phone calls and saying, hey, I appreciate the time, but I'm not feeling the connection that I need or I feel that I deserve right now. This isn't what I'm looking for. Thank you so much and I wish you well on your journey. Resolution number five is we're gonna manage our expectations. A lot of us get into our head what this ideal relationship is going to look like. And when that is all that we focus on, and that's all we think we're supposed to be witnessing, anything that doesn't look like that, we automatically disqualify. We're going to manage those expectations. We're gonna remove the, the things that we've learned from, from Disney and social requirements and things like that. We're going to instead be a little bit more open-minded. We're gonna understand that people are just like you and I, we're, we're capable of making mistakes, we're capable of minor inconsistencies, minor, not major, and that life actually happens, and that way we're able to manage our, our frustrations, our mindsets, our, in, our energy, our investment, and I think overall this helps us maintain our respect for ourselves and our frame going into this new year of dating. Resolution number six, we're gonna start asking the important questions. Now, a lot of us get into a relationship much faster than we ever expected. Things just took off. We had so much great chemistry. The connection was just there. And you kind of get caught up into it and you forget a very important aspect, which is asking questions on compatibility. I cannot tell you how many times I see people who are years into a relationship and finding out, well, my partner doesn't want to have kids. My partner doesn't want to get married. My partner doesn't want to live here, you know, beyond the next six months. I'm just like, how did you allow yourself to get so far into a relationship dynamic with somebody? You're like you're living together, like you're expecting them to propose and they don't believe in marriage. We are going to make a promise to ourselves 
to ask some difficult questions early on so that we ensure that we're not letting ourselves down in the near future. My final dating resolution is we're gonna accept that it's okay to be single. A lot of us look around seeing our friends and family getting married and we start feeling like we're behind in life, in our love life, and that you know we need to hurry up and we need to get you know our our journey our life journey is is behind and you know maybe we're doing something wrong it's it's 11 p.m. I'm having a drink while I know my friends are are in bed with their husbands and you know they have kids and they're doing the whole thing it's very easy to get frustrated or feel like you're not you know on course or on par with everybody else around you I can't tell you how bad of a mindset this can trigger into you because what happens when we start looking around we start feeling like we need to rush. We start feeling a little bit desperate as well. And what happens when we feel desperate? We start losing our standards on our boundaries, start disappearing. And all these resolutions that we just made to ourselves start vanishing. So I need you to understand it is okay to be single. Single doesn't mean you're always gonna be that way. It's a season of life. And if you're not using this season of life to to build yourself, to um, create those things that make you interesting and build character and construct those gifts that you're able to give to somebody that you're gonna potentially meet, then yes, you are gonna feel that way. But as long as you are investing into yourself, it is going to be a positive investment into the relationship you're going to have in the future. So those are my seven New Year's dating resolutions. I really believe that if you take these into the new year of your dating experiences, you are not only going to go in more well equipped, but you're going to have so much more confidence and these are going to be the pillars and the foundations of a happy and healthy relationship that's waiting for you. I hope you guys liked this video and if you did, share it to your friends who are single going into the next year, hoping to have better dating experiences like and subscribe. Leave a comment in the section below and I'll see you guys next time.